minions assemble! Settle down, everyone! I have an announcement to make! Remember what I told you, that we are going to pull off the most amazing heist of all time by stealing the moon? Yeah! Right. And that all I had to do was get a bank loan to build a rocket and we were all set? Go! 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 Um, yeah, well, that didn't work out so good. Yeah! Mr. Perkins at the Bank of Evil says we have to start paying instead of borrowing, or else he will do unpleasant things to me. I heard that, Tim. Anyway, I have decided that none of that matters. Out there in the world are plenty of rocket parts. All we have to do is find them and take them for ourselves. Yeah! Right! Before Vector can build his rocket and get there first. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, a new villain, Vector. He also, it seems, wants the moon. So, we're kind of in a race to get there, all right? Don't worry, don't worry. We are much, much smarter than Vector. Trust me. Really, Dr. Navario has assured me that he can, if we get all the parts, build the rocket. After that, the moon belongs to the number one master villain in the world and his awesome team of minions. That's us. Minions <laughs> 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 Okay, let, let's all get ready, everybody. We have some training to do before our first heist. Running off, let's take a look at how weapons and minions work. First, there's the air gun. It could wait, wait. Why is it that you have given me an air gun? No, oh, hold up. You told me to build a weapon that could blow away anything. If you never mind, what were you saying? Uh, yes. Well, the air gun doubles your jump height. Just jump a second time while in the air to activate it! Give it a go! <laughs> the air gun can indeed blow away some enemies. But why not try it out on this fella? <laughs> enemies that run away can't hurt you. And attacking things that can't hurt you is... well... Despicable! Doing things like that increases your level of despicableness. Your despicable rating, if you will. We'll talk more about that later. Your trusty freeze ray can do lots of cool stuff. <laughs> For instance, you can blast these hot platform thingies and make them safe to jump on. If the ice starts melting, you can refreeze the platform, but you have to be quick. Air guard! Platform doohickey thingamy jigs also freeze. They stay still when you shoot them. Springy, 
you'll probably want to avoid being crushed. You can freeze pistons to make a safe path. You can freeze some of your enemies too. Try blasting these laser turrets and see what happens. enemy can be defeated by at least one of your weapons. Oh, I always forget which is which. Uh, you, you'll just have to experiment. But experimenting is fun. Now, as I said before, there are plenty of ways to be despicable. Whenever you come across objects like these, you can do marvellously nasty things to them. Go on, try it! Running and jumping won't get you through a situation. It's time to send in the minions. They can help you with puzzles. They're very useful in that way. Now, you can command the minions to stand in formations, each of which is affected by your weapons. Now, minions must be in formation before your weapons affect them. Create a single minion formation and then blast it with your freeze ray. That was fun, but it can be useful too. Now, some buttons, like that yellow one, stay down when pressed. Go ahead, step on it. Now, others, like that red one, only stay down if there's something holding them down. Order a minion onto the button and make an ice block, like you did before. Good! Now, you should be able to use ice block minions to weigh down just about anything and to act as floating platforms in water. Uh, not that I've tried that, of course. Uh, your air gun should also affect the minions, uh, I think. Order a single minion to stand directly below the button on the ceiling and then hit him with the air gun. <laughs> oh, he's got 
got a bit of an inflated opinion of himself, hasn't he? Well, at least he's good at pressing overhead buttons and lifting things, I suppose. Uh, your air gun should also affect the minions, uh, I think. Order a single minion to stand directly below the button on the ceiling and then hit him with the air gun. <laughs> you can also make minion towers. Now place a tower formation on your side of that gap in the floor and blast it with your air gun. You can use a minion bridge to cross gaps to support other formations and to catch falling objects. Now, let's try the circle formation. Set up a circle formation and then hit it with the air gun. You have a minion fan club! <laughs> See how it moves the floating minion so it can get to the overhead button. <laughs> you can get rid of a formation when you don't need it anymore. Use the controls to cycle through your formations and disband the fan. When you don't have enough minions to make new formations, you can just get rid of formations you don't need anymore to free some up. Well, don't just stand there. Get going! I wonder what would happen if you used the freeze ray and the air gun together. Shouldn't be too dangerous. Well, let's give it a go. Huh. Let's see. Why not try operating that button there using ice and wind? So make an ice block and then blast it with the air gun. <laughs> Whoops. I wondered where I put that thing. <laughs> well, no matter. Let's see if we can get it out of your way. Make a circle formation and freeze it with the freeze ray. Then blast the ice ball with the air gun to roll it into the statue. You can also make an ice tower, which blocks openings and stops wind from fans and stuff like that. Go ahead and make one. Now, let's see what the air gun does to it. <laughs> well, that wasn't very useful, was it? Ahead of you is a puzzle map pickup. Each one provides details on how to complete one puzzle of your choice. To use a puzzle pickup when you're in a puzzle room, go to the puzzle room zoom mode and activate the puzzle map. And scroll through the steps. Pick it up and try it. All that effort for this. Well, that, that was a freebie. 
when you're out in the real world, you'll need to conserve puzzle maps. You don't have enough for all of the puzzles. Let's move along. I've located an engine for the rocket. In the 60s, there was this fellow called Cam Shaft that became famous for stealing engines of all sorts. He was an awesome mechanic, and his greatest creation was a cluster of rocket engines that he sort of patched together from old missiles. It should work beautifully for our purposes. Now, I'm more of an idea guy than a planner, so, Dave here will explain the rest. Sounds easy enough. Good luck, crew. thing this time.
Get past this. Give the controller to someone else for a while.
Tonight's top story, a daring break-in at a local building today has authorities baffled. A businessman who works in the building, one Mr. Perkins, says the robbery occurred at around noon. He had no further details on the incident other than to say that the building was, quote, not, repeat, not a bank. Who said anything about a bank? An object which appeared to be a rocket engine of some sort was seen being carried through downtown streets by what witnesses describe as a group of very short plumbers in overalls. More details as they become available. Crew, we need hull plating for the rocket that can take a lot of pressure. And I know just where to get it. Vector's lair. And Jim here will fill you in on the details. <laughs> Quite so. Questions? No? Off you go then. country now, you old has-been. Try this at home, kids! That is beautiful. much for that.
Take it away! Now you have an original group. Oh, like you can do better. You think you can get away with stealing my stuff? My plan for an electrical power source for the rocket came up a bit short. Papa Nicolo sung a stupid plan. No, it was a lovely plan. It's not my fault you couldn't manage to find me enough extension cords to stretch 250,000 miles. So, anyway, backup plan. There was a villain called Nick Eon who used to be really into neon signs. He stripped Vegas clean back in 82. He installed a small nuclear reactor in his bank vault to power his collection. It should be perfect for our purposes. Oh, he's, uh, he's not around anymore. Radiation poisoning. Yikes! At any rate, the reactor is waiting for us in the Bank of Evil. Get in there and bring it back.
again from the top! Backseat pilot, but I have some tips for you. The minion ship ahead of you is for transporting the item you steal. It's fully shielded, so you can just sit back and. Oh, right. 
I, uh, you forgot to install the shields. So I suppose it's up to you to keep them safe. The minion ship won't make it if you don't stick with them. Oh, and uh, make sure you don't get destroyed either. That would be rather unfortunate. I've uh, scattered some goodies along your course that should help you with any enemies you encounter. Thank <laughs> you. 
or hoaxes. Reports have come in from all over the viewing area of the theft of what appeared to be a nuclear reactor and of a daring air battle in the skies above our town. The first word of this amazing story came from the vicinity of this office building, where reported robbery of a facility that was not a bank took place not long ago. Are pollutants in the water supply just making the population crazy? Again! Or is our fair city under siege by a despicable master villain bent on destroying us all? Stay tuned for more information as this horrifying story continues to unfold. Now we go live to our own happy homemaker, Betsy Callahan, who has some yummy recipes that won't break your bank. Betsy? We need a radar tracking system for the rocket. And Dave has managed to locate one. App at a symbol of a powerful radar, Napasati. But it's a secure facility as a Namakota set up a problem. Vector. Yes, you will have to go and get the item from Vector's lair. But the good news is that this facility is so heavily defended, they'll never expect you to try and break into it. This is the good news? Oh, I'm sure you'll have no problem. You're a little scrapper. <laughs> have a nice trip. Bye -bye. Thank <laughs> you. 
am no art critic, but I know what I like. Won't mind us borrowing this.
got past my defenses last time. But this time, oh, no, 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 I've got more surprises up my sleeve. Another excellent weapon. <laughs> the 
The rocket is coming along even better than I'd hoped. We actually have the next parts I need. Those stabiliser fins the minions picked up at Mormart. So, Gru, you can just relax for the moment because... Hello, Gru. <laughs> Yes, the little yellow thing is right. It's me, Vector. If you think I'm going to let you get away with this moon heist thing, you are as pathetic as your lab's defensive systems. That's right, I broke in, no problem. Easy peasy. Figured I'd just grab those stabilizer fins and use them for my own moon rocket. Ah! That's right. I'm going to steal the moon before you do. Unpredictable! Hey! Ma, Makataka, fins. Well, no. I didn't get the fins. But I did manage to turn all of your tricks and traps against you. So good luck getting those fins, Gru. By the time you finish fiddling around, I'll already have a miniature moon to add to my collection. Oh, yeah! You can do better. Maybe not. Freeze ray! 
Hey! You know something? That was a lot to go through for something I already own. Kids, don't try this at all. Bad news, crew. The good news is that I found a fully operational command module for the rocket. My brother, Reprehensio, built one for the rocket that his former boss, Drew, was going to use to steal Mars a while back. 
That turned out badly. So he doesn't need it anymore. The bad news is that, unlike myself, Reprehensio can be a bit, shall we say, absent-minded. Oh, do tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Difficult to believe, I know. Anyway, instead of shipping it to you, Gru, he sort of shipped it to Drew. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, ooh. Drew's vault at the Bank of Evil, to be precise. Drew isn't with us anymore. What happened to him? Detective command module. That's encouraging. Uh, yes, but Reprehensio says the problem has been corrected. Not to worry, it's sitting in his vault at the Bank of Evil. Oh, and uh, Reprehensio accidentally called the bank when he meant to call me. So they sort of know you're coming. <laughs> You'd better approach by air. Good luck, crew! Good. That will help. Mine. Yeah. Right. 
stop me now! Nobody messes with you! Whatever happened to keys and locks? Complication. There's another way around.
get back to the lab! guy gets coins, I get this. Yeah. Anybody there? The downtown area is buzzing as yet another daring robbery is pulled off in broad daylight. The third such crime in as many days, this is the first one that has been positively confirmed by eyewitness accounts. One witness of the event described the heist as totally cool, mon, and said that someone who could pull off such a despicable act must be one of the greatest criminal minds of all time. When asked whether he thought that the man behind the heist might be the up-and-coming supervillain Vector, the witness turned surly and stormed off. Authorities are baffled, and it seems clear that we're in for at least four to five more daring heists before it's game over for the mastermind of this crime spree. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
no! I forgot about gas! Oh, is that what it is I am smelling? Uh, no, that was Dave. But that's not what I mean. We need fuel for the rocket. And, as the game design would have it, I know where you can find some. The highest security vault in the Bank of Evil is owned by a Mr. Hugh Morgan. Now, he has this obsession with ice cream and has commissioned dozens of works of art on the theme. He also has one of the biggest private ice cream sellers of all time. Explain to Gru why this is important, Dave. Banana splits! <laughs> Banana! Oh, why it's important to the mission, Dave. Uh, liquid nitrogen! Uh, yay. That's right, the best rocket fuel there is. Morgan uses it to keep his ice cream frozen. And there's a fresh canister stored in the vault. Go get it, crew. The moon is so close now, I can smell it. Or I could, if smells travelled through space. And if the moon were actually physically closer. Oh, anyway, good luck. And bring back some tutti fruity. That stuff's yummy.
Don't you think? I'm missing here.
have to. important to us. Please wait here for the next available player. the pause button, use it sometime.
running out of clever things to say. With nitrogen, cool. Ah, just go.
rocket engine, a portable nuclear reactor, a spacecraft command module, and now, a canister of liquid nitrogen. This is the shopping list of the mysterious thief who's been repeatedly plundering the downtown area for the past eight levels, er, uh, days or so. A team of crime scene investigators has been working around the clock to solve this baffling case. Although their conclusions are far from final, they have determined what the villain is most likely constructing. A nuclear-powered, rocket-propelled freezer with a seat. The uses to which a clever villain could put such a diabolical device are endless. Stay tuned as further developments unfold. You're here! Good! As you know, we need a high-pressure tank 
to hold the rocket's fuel. I've found one that will do nicely. Unfortunately, it belongs to Vector. And of course, there are probably insanely complex traps that will make it very hard to get to. Oh, and at this point in the game, I'm pretty sure he knows you're coming. So, good luck with that. Now, Tim and Dave have a map and some of their little minion babblings to share. Super dangerous. Nikitutama, ah, the ridiculously hazardous Ozaba. No, I'm sure Gru is perfectly fine with the plane. Off you go, Gru. You go and get the, whatchamacallit, and bring it back. And then I'll do whatever it is that I do. Friend, I'm ready for you this time. <laughs> Maybe I should just adopt some kids and settle down. No time.
Yu-Gi-Oh! Here we go. More danger. through the door. Enough is enough already! That did... not. Challenging. I don't like this. Well, that didn't work.
smarter than the average vector once again. We'll just take that. There's one more piece of hardware we need. A shrink ray. Now, we had one, of course, but as you may recall, Vector was able to... How to put this delicately? Steal it right out from under your nose? So, now, your only choice is to break into his lab, find the shrink Hold ray, on, and... Hold on, just one minute there, Gramps. Do you think I'm going to let Gru and those little yellow things of his just waltz into the fortress of Vector 2 and steal my shrink ray? Well, that would be nice, yes. Well, forget it. My defensive systems are running at full vectitudinal capacity, which, in case you don't know, is pretty darn good. 
So if Gru comes snooping around here again, he better watch his step. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You heard him, Gru. This is probably the toughest job yet. No time. that effort for this Wow. 
Uy. Game designers, always with the traps and the puzzles. That did not.
design such a thing. Yeah, not so much. This is just crazy! to the effort. Missing here.
The shrink ray is in another direction! Stop doing this! Stop! Stop! Right now! This is it. The last piece of the puzzle. One more level and the moon is mine.
The rocket is completed and the shrink ray is charged and ready to go. Wow. Yes! But the only problem is that I've discovered that Vector has his rocket ready as well. Aww. But you could still make it to the moon first, if you hurry. Yay! Of course, that may be difficult because the lab defences have been activated again. Aww. You see, the inverse calibration on the main stage flux chillers backfired when the system was purged, causing a massive feedback loop in the compensator. Yeah. Huh? What? Oh. Ah! Oh. It means the game designers always make the last level the hardest. Just go and get to the rocket before Vector does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
is dangerous. I need a better agent. Oh, this looks tricky. Watch it! 
one of these on every level. This is it! Next stop! The moon! I got a poop. Oh, Dave, how many times have I told you to take care of that before the level starts? Ah! No, no, not now. You will have to wait until we get there. <laughs> Victor is ahead of you, Gru. You must stay with him, or all is lost! Oh, too slow! Sucker now, and who's not the sucker? Me! Oh yeah! Ah! This is not good. Control, this is crew. Mayday, I need help now. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Could I have a little help here, please? 
Hey? Eh? Oh, sorry about that, crew. A minor distraction. Your course should be corrected now. Yes, but uh, no, it can't be. Oh yeah, who's got the moon now? Me, Vector. That's who. Best villain ever. Oh yeah. No, no. Vector is taking the moon. I worked so hard, played so many levels. I can't let him have it. Go. You can still stop him! I've sent a signal to reverse your shrink ray! If you get there quickly... I am on it! Uh, come to Vector, you beautiful little moon. Oh, did not see that coming. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Sweet. Who just orchestrated the, the first Grunar Eclipse? This guy, that's me. gonna be famous! Thirteenth man on the moon! Oh! Yeah. Ta-da! Ah. Oh.